Good Tuesday morning, May 9th, 2023. We got the golf car out yesterday. The grandkids were over and it was a nice day. So decided to uncover it. The battery was still charged enough. The tires still had some air. So we took a little ride down the street. And, and we went up the street a little bit. Yeah. So we charged it up. I think we're... Yep, it's all charged. So today we'll also have to go and uh, check the tire pressure and then we have to pull up the seat and check the water level and the batteries, check the charge level, make sure we're good for the season. Yeah. Okay, we're charged up. Front tires are at 20, because that's what they say, and the back tires are at 10 to 15, it says 10. Uh, we checked all the battery cells, six, six volt golf cart batteries. The water level seems to be all good over the winter. We're charged up. We took off this piece. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to park it in the back so when the kids come back over, we can uh, use it. Right, we started this not yesterday because I was watching the grandkids all day yesterday which uh, you know watching a two-year-old and a, a five-year-old one boy one girl uh, blessings I love them dearly but you know one's a two-year-old girl one's a five-year-old boy so like they have different interests but yesterday it was just me my wife was at work so I sometimes get concerned I can't run in two directions at once or at least not very fast anymore <laughs> but they both want to do the same things you know a hot tub we use a tractor we use the golf cart we shot rockets uh, so it was just very very enjoyable yesterday now why do we say that I don't know oh yeah that's why I wasn't here yesterday but the day before I had spent some time before it rained and let's see if we can see what this situation. Well, this is a situation here, right? So I'm going to set right up in the middle and zoom. So it's kind of like when I did the survey, and this is my like survey path to find the the this the what do you call it? The topography, the slopes, the grades. So what you can see as we go down here. You can see there's some stakes farther and further and further down. All right, so I have since, after taking all that survey data, you know, decided on how I want my where the the swale bridges are and stuff like that. So I just want to kind of keep this clean, just gently mark it with a couple posts and a couple of a little uh, some red tape, just to keep this open when I need to do more work. You can see back this way, I've kind of cleaned it up all the way down that way. You can see the red marker in the tree. So that's kind of today's project. I brought the pole saw. We're just going to clean up a little bit of this and see where it goes. Okay, I think the maintenance on this section is done. So let's just take a quick walk. So this is where it starts. This is uh, like the main... Uh, north to south swale that picks up stuff so this is the, the ditch that we dug and let's just have a walk you can kind of see as we're walking down here uh, I put some stakes in there and just put some uh, tape on the ends just so we can see them I don't want it to be I don't need big white stakes and drawing a lot of attention I just want to be able to make sure I can find the stakes and keep this uh, little ditch swale open. And you can see here it turns and now we're going to go this way. I'm going to stop here for a minute and let's just try to zoom. All right, take my glasses off so I can see where I'm zooming here. And zoom. Yeah. I can't see very well in this little viewfinder. Let's just keep walking. But, uh, yeah. 
have a so this isn't a, a, a ditch this is just a survey path where I surveyed to see what the train was like because where I made a trail I built up so it's hard to really tell what the accurate contour is elevation train whatever you want And we'll just take it. You can see this is a ash tree that snapped off a small one. We're going to have to extricate that. It's kind of leaning up there. We'll use that on a, one of the trail projects. You can kind of see this is a pretty low area. And we still have to finish that uh, little bridge, swale bridge there, pipe bridge, whatever. It is a nice day for just to be outside. Birds are chirping, sun's out, light breeze, 50s. And you can kind of see where this one is. And that is what goes through there. We should go check on our robin front too. I think, I think her eggs have hatched. I saw some fluffy fur feathers sticking out the other day. Okay, and then we get to here. And then we turn a little bit. You can kind of see we're going to walk right through this way. So this is kind of where I had put the tape rule down and got the survey level out. And we did a, and you know, from end to end, if it's six inches of elevation change, it's a lot, it's just all flat. Here we go. This is the edge of the, the property. If we take a look going south, you can see that's the edge of the property there. And this is a big oak, well, I don't know, it's not an oak tree. I don't know what, uh, maybe a maple tree. I think it's a maple tree. But this is where we ended our survey work. Wow. Here's our nest, like not yesterday, the day before. She was sitting in there and she had her little, a lot of little feathers. You can see some little mouths, but they are all gone. Are they, did someone take them? I hear a robin up in a tree squawking quite a bit. I don't see any signs. All right, so we, it's a nice day. I had to pull saw out. I wanted to just take a look back here. The tree that had fallen down and before it gets all green and the bugs come out, I want to take a look and see what it would take to get out, get that log out of here because I could put it on my sawmill. I definitely have a, a use for that on a trail. So let's have a look. You can see a whole bunch of trees have already come down. We cleaned these out and used them on a the trail already. This one's back a little bit further. So we cleared, you know, this is all pretty heavy brush here, so we cleared, put all the brush in a brush pile. Uh, you know, it looks like someone dumped a whole bunch of cinder blocks back here a long time ago. Uh, but it's not my property. I do my best to be a good steward of it. Uh, I don't know exactly what to do about those bricks. If I feel so inclined, maybe I'll unbury them and stack them neatly, but it looks like there's like a whole bunch of them thrown all over in this area. Uh, maybe they can be used for something else. That's why, you know, it might be nice just to stack them and if someone has a use. But anyways, let's take a look at the tree. So I got to this far. And not, not necessarily lazy, but, you know, there's still a lot of brush to get so I can actually walk in there. But what I did notice is, I'm not, well, maybe I can walk a little bit more. When we get over to this part, which isn't too far away, you can kind of see there's one branch, one branch, and a branch down there. So as far as I clean up all this, cut, put a come along, pull it out, cut, pull, come, come along, pull it out, and then cut use a come along pull out. I wouldn't have to clean all that brush in order to get in there with a chainsaw 
and piecemeal dismantle it. If I could leave this log in place, just cut the top three branches and use a come along and pull that out, uh, then I only have a little bit more left to clean up in here. There's some of these branches here and some of the brush underneath so I can uh, get in here and work. So that's the thought. We'll come back with uh, the pole saw and a chainsaw, the 16 inch chainsaw, and a come along. Uh, maybe this afternoon or maybe tomorrow. It is just walking out here. Yeah, see, there's quite a bit of uh, brush I had to clean to get this far, but this looks like a nice log, nice uh, ash log. So, and my thought was I left this here purposefully because I think I could put the come along. It's still, now we'll see how much strength it has, but I could put the come along up higher so there's an angle. So I'm not dragging those tops through the mud and the other brush, I can like have an angle to it and pull them up and out. They might go bigger, but I tell you, every time I've tried to pull tree tops out of brush, I wind up breaking ropes. It's just, you wouldn't think there's that much holding force with a couple of branches and some brush, but man. So I guess that's why I say I give it a try, maybe with a better elevation here, an angle. There's just so much force to do that, so we'll see.